A key experience for any digital note-taking um, device is to be able to use lecture slides and import them onto your device and take notes directly on them. So I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of how you can do that. And I'm going to use my note-taking app of choice, which is Notability. And you can see my PowerPoint slide subject here, I have two different types of slides. And basically what you can do is you'll have the most you'll have the greatest versatility if your professor gives you the actual PowerPoint file itself and then you can import it directly into Notability or change what the PowerPoint slides look like and make them look like handouts. Um, but if your professor only gives you a certain type of slides, that's really easy to import as well. Um, it, basically, you can, you can import almost any type of file into Notability itself. So this one that I imported is literally a PowerPoint file that um, Notability converted into um, something that more res more closely resembles a PDF and it makes each slide its own page and so you can scroll through your um, slides and then take notes wherever you need to um, with the Apple Pencil or even with your finger if you don't have or any other stylus if you don't have the Apple Pencil itself um, and you can write notes in the margins and you know basically if your professor leaves blanks in your um, PowerPoint slides, you can fill them in um, as you go along. So it, it's a really nice um, experience. And so this is basically just a straight up PowerPoint presentation file. So like a PPTX, I believe, is the extension. And that is basically what I directly imported right here into Notability. Now, if I didn't want to have those giant slides, you can just make your PowerPoint slides into these little handouts where you can have like three slides per page or four slides per page. Um, so all you have to do is open your PowerPoint and go to File, Print, um, and then you can see that right there under Layout, you can switch to Handouts to three slides per page or four slides per page or six. I prefer three. I think three is the best because then you get the little lines on the side to take your notes. And then if you're on a Mac at least, you just go down to where it says PDF down here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on that and I'm actually just going to open it in preview. So I'm going to click open PDF in preview. And once I open that up, I can see what it looks like and look, it definitely looks like a PDF and I have it opened in preview. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click on file and I'm going to save it as um, a PDF on my iCloud drive. So I just click uh, PDF, you can change it to JPEG or, you know, PNG, other image files, but I'll leave it as a PDF. Um, I'll save it to my iCloud Drive my, in preview, my preview iCloud Drive. And then all I have to do is click Done and open iCloud Drive on my iPad, and from there I can import the PDF into Notability. So now all I have to do on the iPad is just click on um, my iCloud Drive app, go into Preview, and I have the handout right here as a PDF. And now this is, there are a lot of different ways you could send this to Notability. Personally, what I do is I don't upload anything to iCloud. I would just message it to myself and open the message on my iPad and then open that file via um, Notability. But this is just, I think, the mo most straightforward if you don't know, if you don't like using those types of shortcuts. But anyway, all I have to do right here is click on the share button and see this Notability icon. So I can just click Notability. And now it's sent to Notability. Let's click OK, swipe down out of that and go back to Notability, and here um, Notability tells me that I can import this so I can create a new note or add it to a new, uh, a different note that I already have. So for the sake of this video, we'll just create a new note, and now you'll be able to start after this um, downloads. Now you can start writing on it like normal. You can just take notes on your lecture slides um, on the side here, so I can just um, on, the, on the right side, I can just write quick notes like, um, uh, you know, anything you need to jot down as your professor is speaking um, as you go through the lecture. So th this is just a really quick way to, you know, go through your lecture slides and just take quick annotations or an quick annotations on the side or even highlight key points if you need to. Now, this is the blue, the slide is blue, so the highlighters come out in weird colors but you can always change the color make the highlighter black and to get a better highlight or something plus what you can do after this is if you need to 
um, print them, you can easily do that too. So you just click on this um, share button here and then you can click print and send it to um, like your printer like in your school or you can email it to yourself, um, upload it to all, all these different services here and then you have your lecture notes ready to go at all times. So that's basically how um, I take my lecture notes and I import them onto my device and I take notes on them uh, during lecture. So I don't have to actually print out any notes when I go to class. I just have to take um, my iPad. I don't have to take multiple notebooks. hope this was helpful.